Shalom. Hanukkah Sameach. Hanukkah Sameach. Hoje é, today, I'm sorry, didn't go to me. Today is the fifth candle. So we are going to light the candles together. And it's a time of joy, celebrating the great miracle of the dedication of the temple. And this dedication of the temple is going parallel to us seeking the Lord for this eight days, asking the Lord to give us an impartation of the seven spirits of the Lord, an impartation of the fullness of His Spirit, seeking the Lord so we will gain the purpose in His life more and more, that we can fulfill the purpose of his life, the destiny in our lives that he has separated for us. Mm -hmm. So we cannot achieve that without uh, seeking him and asking the Holy Spirit to empower us. So tonight we are going to uh, light the candle of the might. The, tonight is the is spirit of might. So going back to what we have been teaching you, um, these are the seven spirits of the Lord, which is the menorah. There is a menorah that was seen in the book of Revelation. The menorah was seen by uh, the, the apostle John when he was uh, before the throne. In the vision of John, he saw a beautiful menorah. And then the seven spirits of the Lord were in the menorah. And then again, it's written in Isaiah 11, verse 2. The Spirit of the Lord is the middle one, which is the one that serves the other one. Yeshua is the light. And then we have the wisdom and revelation. Wisdom, revelation. I'm sorry, wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And so because we are lightning from the right to the left, today we are going to light the fifth candle. The fifth candle, which is might. Amen? Amen. So Eliana is going to bless us. And as we're in this campaign teaching of the menorah and the seven spirits of Yahweh, we also talking about Hanukkah and it's a parallel explanation as we are in the middle of the festival of Hanukkah. And so we first light the shamash, which is the center. And the shamash lights the other ones from the right to the left. Shamash. And the shamash will light all the other candles. The first candle. Wisdom. Second candle is. Second candle. Council. Oof. Yes. Third. Third. Knowledge. This is knowledge. Knowledge and come on. Woo! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> shoot. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the one of today, which is power. Power. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Which is might. Shamash will like the other one. The Shamash lights them all, and the fifth one, uh, which is today. Yeah. 
mind, which is today we're going to discuss about the spirit of mind. Yeshua said, Anuchi or Haula, Haulech Acharai, Loilech Bachoshech, Kilo, O Hachaim. Yeshua said, I am the light of the world. The, the one who walks after me will not walk in darkness, for in him is the light of life. Yeshua man said, Anuchi or Haula, I am the light of the world. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר קידשנו בניצותיו וציוונו להדליק נר חנוכה ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו חגים חוקות ומועדים לשמחה לכבוד ישוע המשיח אדוננו עוד העולם ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שעשה ניסים לאבותינו בימים ההם ובזמן הזה Blessed are you אדוני King of the Universe Master of the Universe אדוני our God who performed miracles for our fathers in those days and at this time and ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שחיינו וקיימנו והגענו לזמן הזה. Blessed are you, Adonai, Yahweh, Lord our God, Master of the Universe, who has kept us alive and sustained us and brought us to this special time. And there's still more that the Jewish people sing, and we also like to sing together of uh, praises to God, thanking Him for the miracles that the Lord Hashem has done for us. His people during this time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Tonight we're going to ask for an impartation of the spirit of might, might. power, valor, or victory. Yes. So it's very important that we understand that we cannot receive the spirit of mind might without being a warrior we have to be warriors to receive the spirit of might and the strength we need to be warriors what is might for what is power for to fight against the forces of evil but we are not the ones that fight the holy spirit fights through us because we are just vessels of the Ruach HaKodesh. Yeshua said, I will not leave you orphans, but I will go and ask the Father, and He will send you the Ruach HaKodesh, and He will teach you all things. And He's the one that teaches us how to fight, because the battle belongs to Him. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. But it's not by might of our, our own might. It's not by our own strength. It's not by our own power, but by His Spirit, says the Lord. Amen. So, uh, not that you're going to learn a mighty on your own. Oh, I'm powerful. That's my, it's nothing in me that is powerful, but the power and the Holy Spirit power in me is only that. And how can I uh, exercise the power of the Holy Spirit? Through the Word. Amen. Wow, that's powerful. Through the Word. You know, today we were studying about Elisha. 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 What happened to Elisha? He received the double portion of the power and the anointing of Elijah. And when he was walking, some children, 42 children, were mocking him because he was 
boat. Wow. And he just cursed. He cursed them and two bears came and overpowered the children. We don't know what happened. If they put the children to flee, I don't know. But that is power, power today in the word in us. The Bible says in Revelation, the book of Revelation, which is the book of the vision of the Apostle John. Chapter 8 and verse 6. The Bible says that he received a, a, a revelation and the prayer of the saints is what is going to empower them. We are going to pray in the difficult time of tribulation and this power will come in such a way in our lives that we will speak to the situations and to the enemy and the Lord will send curses because of our prayer. Wow. That's how we're going to fight the Antichrist. Antichrist. That's how we're going to fight. Is praying. Is speaking the word. Is speaking the written judgments. Amen. So here we're going to read very important Revelation chapter 8 and verse 6. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So Revelation 8 verse 6. And there were seven angels and they had seven trumpets and they prepared themselves mm -hmm. to attack I gotta do some signal. to serve them and they had seven angels with seven trumpets and those seven trumpets they were blowing to bring curses on the earth to defend the people of Elohim. So, we can hear Lihana. Continue the seven, the continuation. Revelation. Okay. I continue that chapter. And the verse seven says, the first sounded, and there came hail and fire mixed with blood, and they were thrown to the earth. And the third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. Wow. Verse 8 says, The second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. Verse 9, And the third of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And a third of the ships were destroyed. Verse 10. The third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch. And it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of waters. Wow. Well, continue so, on. No, wait. No, 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 wait. I'm going to skip on. Nine. <laughs> is that, is that good? That is good. Yeah. So I'm going to skip on. And, it, and on it goes. But on the 13th, it says, Then I looked and I heard an eagle flying in the mid heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth because of the remaining blasts of the trumpets of the three angels who are about to sound. And it moves on. So, what happened? is the prayer of the saints. The prayer of the saints are making this happen because they are defending, the, the angels are defending the saints. And there will be power in the saints' prayer. Amen. At the last days, the persecution will be 
very strong, but we will have power to resist the enemy. And we are going to overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony, and we are not going to love our lives unto death. Amen. There will be a remnant that will fight, Amen. that they will be in the power and the spirit of Elijah, Amen. that they will resist the enemy, and they will pray, and God will defend them, will uh, protect them. Amen. Um, the trumpets, so, eh? Yeah. It's amazing. Não pode tocar porque ela está com os carrinhos que te dão no olho. Não consigo. Okay. So the Bible also says. In the book of Romans, onde estava aqui? Eu não sei. Estava aqui. Aqui. Tava. The book of Ephesians, six ten. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Mighty power. We need to be strong in His mighty power. Amen. Okay. And. It says in 2 Corinthians 12, My grace is sufficient, sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in the weak, weakness. When we are weak, his power is perfect in us. Because then we see that whatever we do is because we are not able, but he is able to do it through us. Amen. If we trust in him. And Psalm 68 says, Proclaim the power of Elohim, whose majesty is over Israel, whose power is in the heavens. This is all about the power of God in us. And we do not fight against flesh and blood. We fight, the Bible says, against rulers, authorities, against the powers of the dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. But we have the power to step in serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall harm us. So when we know that the spirit of power is one of the spirits of the Lord that's operating in our lives, then we will know the uh, the authority that was given to us but we need to know the word Amen. Yeshua he had a total a total a fullness of the spirit of the Lord he walked in the fullness of the spirit but when he resisted the enemy and the enemy during the time that he was tempted by the enemy he answered with the word wow three times he answered with the word we shall answer with the word. We shall speak the word. Amen. So I ask you, which verses do you have to fight? Hmm. Power. You have to know how to fight. The spirit of power is in us. Yes, it is. But it's not just like, hey, I'm speaking to you, the Iran. I speak to Iran that uh, God is, uh, uh, is going to destroy you and destroy now because you are... Uh, your missiles are not going to come to Israel, or uh, all the nuclear facilities, they are not going to... No, I got to use the promises of God. I got to speak the word. Uh, the word. What, did the say, what did the word say? Uh, like a, the written judgment in Psalm 149, this is an honor for us. Amen. This is an honor. This power is an honor to be a warrior for Yeshua, to be a warrior for Elohim, for the Father and Yeshua. I come back and I say that dedication, piece of dedication is when Yeshua introduced himself and he spoke to Shema. As, as soon as he arrived in Jerusalem, or the people asked him, uh, the Pharisees, are you the Messiah? And he said, I already told you, you don't believe me. You don't believe me because you're not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and no one will snatch them out of my hand. 
Amen. And me and my, I and my father are one. When he said that is the Shema. Because we pray the Shema Israel Adonai, Hashem Elohenu, Hashem Echad. And we pray for two Hashem that they are Echad. The same thing at 100, Psalm 110, the, the King David, he had the vision. Uh, the Lord Adonai, Abba, said to my Elohim, sit down on my right side until I put your enemies under your footstool. So when they ask the rabbis, they don't know. They say, i got to study this. I don't understand that we have one in the throne and another one, Adonai, at the right side. But King David had the vision. So why I'm saying this? Because Psalm 149, I want you to read with me. This is important. If you want to exercise power in your life, you have to speak the written judgments of Adonai. Amen. And the written judgments is nothing but his promises. And when you say, Daddy, you promise. Daddy, you said, and then you said you're going to fight for us. You said you're going to do this. He's going to do it. Amen. How many times we pray here and we have prayer meetings and we ask the Lord, bring fire over the nuclear facilities of, uh, of um, uh, Iran. They are ready to attack us. But you know what? We hear and we ask for a sign. After a few days, we see on the television, oh, it caught fire. That's right. The fire, they don't know who did it, they, they don't know how it happened, they said but it he did it. God did it. And That's one it. day we believe that he's going to break completely the bow of the lamb. Let's read first 100, Psalm 149. That's very important. Psalm 149. Yes. Open with us Psalm 149. Let us know if you found it. Verse 6. Psalm 149, verse 6 says like this. Let the high praises of God be in their mouths and the two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples and to bind the kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of Iraq to execute on them the judgment written. This is an honor to all his godly ones. Praise Adonai. So what I'm talking about, I'm talking about there is an authority, a power that was given to us and we have to execute the written judgments and we execute punishment on the peoples. What do you mean? How can? You have to bless your enemy. Oh, you have, you know what? It's not going to be like that. We are in a war. Then when you are in a war, it's the people come to destroy your home, to, to attack, to rob you and everything. You're not going to fight. You're going to say, I bless you and this. No, no. That is time stand. for everything. Stand against evil like the Maccabees. We have to stand. Oh, yeah. And then... You have to speak the written judgment. Remember, okay, that the spirit of Elijah, he confronts. The spirit of Elijah, he confronts governments and he confronts uh, the false uh, uh, priests, the false uh, uh, prophets. And this is the spirit of Elijah that will come in the last days. The spirit of Elijah will empower us to confront evil not to say oh no you better be quiet we better don't say nothing we better don't 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 fight so the persecution will come and then they are not going to fight the bible says that the enemy the entire messiah will make war against the saints for you to know the saints are going to be here to fight and they if they are gonna, uh, if he's gonna make war against the saints, because the saints are gonna fight. We are gonna fight in the power of his might. Amen. Amen. You're gonna fight in the power of his might. Amen. You have to exercise the power that you have with you. It's like Elijah, when 
the officers, 50 officers of the, of the king came to tell, to talk to him. And he didn't want to talk to them because they want to rebuke him. They were representing the false prophets. What did he do? Elijah sent fire on them. He sent fire twice against the, the troops that came against him. He had the power to speak and send fire. And the Bible says that the last days, he's going to send us the spirit of Elijah. Amen. And the spirit of Elijah will bring us to have the same power, even more, because we now in Yeshua receive the Holy Spirit, then we have power to step on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and not some power, all, and nothing shall harm us. Amen. So we have to walk in the power of the Ruah and in the Word, in the Word. So going to what I was saying, about Iran. How do we pray like this? Because in Jeremiah 49 says that he himself Adonai will break the bow of Elam. Elam is Iran. When we say this to him Father, you promise it, it is written and you know what? We have a mighty Father that He remembers His promises. Amen. He's standing His promises. He's standing His promises. He's standing His promises. Yes. That's what we have to do. Amen. He promised us. Amen. Amen. So this is the power. And the power is an honor to receive that. Amen. Because we receive the power, we're not going to do anything with it. Is it the power of the Holy Spirit? Let's try to to exercise the power, the power to pray, the power to preach, the power to heal, the power to go to a place and see changes in people's life. This is the power that was given to me and to you, not for us to keep this gift and, and then hide it from the world. We have to shine this light, That's shine that. the light, shine the light, shine the light. Amen. Amen. So we would like to... Uh, have a song. Stand in his promises. Stand in his promises. Because those that know his promises shall stand in the power of his might. Amen. We will overcome. Yes, we will. We are living in a very difficult times, intimidating times. Governments coming against people in such a way. And we cannot even uncover our mouths in the places but we can speak from our homes and we can speak to that situation and we can take authority in the name of Yeshua and protect our home amen so father in the name of Yeshua we come to you we pray tonight that the impartation of the spirit of your power and your might will be in our lives. Yes. Father, we pray in the name of Yeshua that you bring us this precious power of the spirit of boldness, the Amen. spirit of courage, Hallelujah. the spirit of prayer that you, only you can give to us Amen. and give to everyone that are watching us Amen. in the name of Yeshua. In the name Amen. Of Yeshua. Yes, and we declare and decree the word of God. You see, when we speak the word of God, it's powerful. Hallelujah. Fight the good fight of the faith and take hold of the eternal life to which you were called to. Hallelujah. Adonai will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. And they shall come up out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is raising up his end time army with the spirit of the Lord the spirit of might and we need to stand in this time as Elijah stood in those times and we ask that God in these end times will give us the spirit of Elijah to prepare the way for Adonai and to stand in these times. Are you ready? Are you ready for Mashiach? Are you ready for salvation? 
So I want to invite you to see and each and every one of you, wherever you are from, subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos, the worship songs. It's a team with mom. We work together and, and a lot of this work is done in tears and, and, and joy of the Lord, but also with the presence of God so strong that he permits us to be instruments for his glory. And we pray that it's a blessing to you. So stand in his promises. Let's sing together. In the power of his might. And stand in the power of his might.